Hello everybody and welcome to this season's major, the Tostino's Invitational. It's not brought to you by Tostino's, but we would like it to be. So Tostino's, if you're watching, hit us up. So we would also like to flex that this is the first seeded tournament in CPU CS history. We took the top 16 on the rankings and put them all in a bracket. So we got first seed Zelda going against the 16th seed of Cloud. And Major, what do you think about this match? I think Zelda is okay. gonna win. Oh yeah, I like the energy in this room. You feel it? I can feel it. It's electric here mm -hmm. in the... Do we have a name for our... The Tostino Stadium. The Tostino's, uh, yeah. N patent pending. So it's been a while since we've seen Cloud, but he, uh, no matter where you are in bracket, you don't want to face Zelda, especially in round one. Yeah, this is a tough matchup for him, but this is, uh, you know, he's just lucky to be here, you know, when you're the 16th seed. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's hoping it just wasn't seeded. <laughs> Probably the worst thing you can do when you're 16th on the ELO. Yeah, Cloud is very lucky there's no meter, which is going to be a big advantage for him. Yeah, and don't, I do want to note that he did take a tournament from Zelda before, I think. I think the one he won was against Zelda, and he did not waste his final smash like that. And honestly, Cloud's holding his own so far. Yeah, he's doing well. He's parrying the hits. Ooh, bad. That was a miss input. He meant to up air, right? I think so. Mm, you hate to see that happen. Ooh. 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 Did she take a jump? No. Okay. But that was almost disgusting. Yeah, that was pretty gross. I, okay. Ooh, okay. He can bring it back. I think Cloud needs to get some cojones and just go down with the ship on that up B once or twice. And even the game out. Like right there? Yeah. Just take her down. Who cares if you lose your stock? Oh, wow. That Maybe. was the rudest edge guard. <laughs> just the the not even fully built knight just mm. tapping him off the stage. I don't even think it was necessarily the hitbox that killed him. It was just the collision box pushing him away. Oh, look at the crowd in the background. They're, they're, they're gathering. Mm -hmm. They're loving the show. Just like you guys can if you like, comment, and subscribe. Wait. Oh. Wait. Does she want it? Because she should. No oh. one. Oh, oh. That was... That was very bold. That was. And now no one gets it. So honestly, not a bad outcome for Cloud. Was, yeah, he got rewarded for that. Because if Zelda got that final smash, he was already at death percent. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wow, I didn't know who got it. Yeah, she she went a little deep for it, but she she's one of the edgy footstool. And now, do you think she's going to time him out for 53 seconds? Uh, she definitely has the potential to. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, he's at 42.8%. That's just enough to die. So we seed of the tournament, and the seeding is right. Zelda moves on. If you don't know what seeding is, it just means the best players play against the worst players, the okay players play against the okay characters, and hey, this is just what seeding looks like. Trust us. So these are two forces of their own. We got the eighth seed of Rosalina versus the ninth seed of Hero. This match could not get any more average. I, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be a little biased. I'm still a little bitter uh, about Hero. Hero heroes better yet yeah i mean all heroes but this one all but this one especially the people are holding out for a hero and you're just holding out for an apology man <laughs> i know all i did i undeservingly got beat up for no reason for winning a tournament exactly they're just mad who do you think the stage benefits more that's an honestly very good question i think hero any reason or oh um i think hero would win it just because things like that <gasps> oh no all the tech some good damage. Both that red percent, but you gotta keep in mind, Hero's a full stock up. And I don't know how he's doing it. Cause I'll be honest, people still call Rosalina bad in this game, but I have no idea how to beat this character. Never did Smash 4, never will in this game. Come on, Rosa. Bring it back, Rosa. Yeah, you are a little biased, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I don't like Hero personally or professionally. I know they're only one seed in difference, but this would still feel like a pretty large upset to me. Because Rosalina has won the first tournament of the season, and despite what critics may claim, that was real, that did happen. <laughs> oh, what? What? Whoa! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what a power move! He was at like 160% to be fair. <laughs> And he, he just said, Rosalina, you're not going to take my stock. He hit her with the real life satisfaction cancel and then takes her out what? through the. Oh no. Oh no. Squad strike. I don't know where this confidence came from. I'm scared. The hero came to play. Yeah, I, I think he's been labbing with all the other heroes because they sent one boy out. <laughs> oh, he's charging. He's charging and thinking. Dude, those are the two worst things that could happen in this matchup. So, Rosa. Oh, oh my gosh. Absolute annihilation. That was probably the most polarizing match we've ever seen. Yeah, that, that was, was just not even close. Technically, she took zero stocks. That was, was bad. <laughs> 
Yeah, not that was definitely not what we were expecting with the two yeah. little seeds. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, I don't even think we're gonna see something like this. Skillshare Kirby is the fourth seed. Robin may be the thirteenth seed, but like we are not gonna see a blowout ever again like that last match. Something I do think is interesting about this is this is definitely old blood versus new blood. Okay, and now they both got the same blood <laughs> right off the bat. Robin really made her first breakout this season and also won a tournament the same one. And now Kirby kind of regaining his form that he once had. Yeah, this is definitely uh, something's got to give here. There's a Skillshare rock you know and love. <laughs> oh, and the cutter. Oh my gosh. Ooh, he's bringing all of it out. This is, uh, this is his red button only. Ooh. That was just such Living. an honest approach. <laughs> just ran up and dash tack. We've seen a rock. Of course, we've seen a rock. Ooh. He did not fall for the bait that time. <laughs> hey, man, at first you don't succeed. <laughs> oh, nice combo breaker. Yeah, he wanted to hit her with drill up smash. Oh, he's not done, though. Oh, he Ooh. wants it again. <laughs> we'll take that tilt. Oh, Ooh. straight down. Oh, rock! <laughs> that's new. No, that's the skill share everyone knows and loves. That's what we've been missing. And he's got the wig back on. I think he just does it to flex. He's not actually knowing how to use the power. Oh, my charging he in just his face. Up. So confident in the drill up smash. Robin DI's it perfectly. Can she survive this yet again? She was taking this home at the beginning, but now she's like 50% behind. Make that 40. She's easing up on Kirby. And oh, this is a careful game. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You know what? I, I feel it, Kirby. He was reading a spot dog read, a roll read. <laughs> I feel like uh, mm -hmm. there's like a glitch in the matrix or something. There's like lag. <laughs> I really hope Kirby wins this tournament. Hey, man, it'd it's be poetic. It'd be beautiful. Kirby has a history of winning the last tournament of every season. <laughs> and I say this fully aware that I am in this tournament. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Major. How's it feel to be out of retirement? You know, I. Uh, it's nice to get back uh, mm -hmm. to, you know, the old the old grind, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. It's been so long since I've been in it that, uh, you know, it's been a nice, refreshing dip back into the competitive pool. Ooh. Ooh. Krom might not have been top 16 on the ELO, but he's still making an appearance, and... This is looking to be a fairly large upset for Robin. Oh, no. Okay, Thoron on deck. I'd watch out if I was Kirby. Oh, he comes okay. in. Coming in with the hammer. Yeah, he tried it once. It didn't work. So it might work twice. Oh, he's getting desperate. But, whoa, that it's was awful off. DI. It, I mean, were you ready for the F smash in neutral? I mean, that's fair. I don't blame her, but. Yeah. Jeez. I'm, okay, 91% on the board for Kirby. And... So Robin pulls the first real big upset of the tournament, beating Skillshare Kirby, who just had a phenomenal run last week. What seed was Kirby? He was fourth. Wow. Yeah, and now we're moving on to the fifth seed Link versus Ike at 12. This is a very Ike heavy stage. Ooh, yeah. Look at all that platforms. Point. So good to Neron. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that's not a true combo. I think he just wanted to send a message right off the bat. Ooh, that was okay. a nice turnaround. That... I killed him. Wow. That, not only was that a combo breaker, everyone would have mashed Nair out of that combo, you know? Yeah. But take it to Link to spam back air out of it. Oh, oh okay. He's getting the little hits in. Hey, man, it, it takes a village. Here at the CPU CS, we care about the little people. Okay. Cute. Ow. Yeah. Ow. <sighs> like, Link did SD that first stock, but it really just feels like Link... Oh, wow. This is going to be a pretty, pretty crucial final smash. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, that's all Ike right there. I thought you would just let it rip. Okay. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, he's dead. Definitely dead. Still dead. We might be on the brink of another incredible Ooh. upset. Yeah, I just realized he turned it around with that final smash. He now has a stock lead after all that. Ooh. Is he going to be able to make it back? No. That, oh, wow, he comes back. That was a very similar reversal to the first stock. And if they keep playing over here, I feel like Link's just going to pull it through. Yeah. But then I got that one cheeky F smash once. Oh. Oh, the weak nair! Amazing edge guard. Mr. Consistency strikes again. As close as that was to an upset, Link pulls through, and now we move to the other side of the bracket with the second seed of Agent Naomi versus Villager. Oh man, strap in. This is a long stage, and we got two projectile-based characters. We sure do, but the thing is, even though Villager is a projectile character, he's kind of the anti-projectile character, because he can just pocket. It's very true. He seems to already be using it. Yeah, he can throw the bombs, and that deals so much more damage. You want to do something about that over there? Look at him camping. Oh, oh wow. 
Ooh, with just a tip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Naomi getting a strong lead right here. And also, lucky for her and everybody else, because of the pre-major where you invited Blood Falcon, he did so poorly, he dropped out of the major in Batiz because he dropped below 16th on the ELO. Oh, wow. Is that wow. your plan all along? Uh, I would be lying if I said it was, but I am pleased that that was the case. So good job, Major. You picked the Invites, you earned that victory. <laughs> I don't think she cares about Villager. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! That was pretty clutch by Villager there. Yeah, he needed that. And I know my professional commentary really helped in that moment of all the O's and O's. <laughs> Oh, that's just a bad whiff. Yeah. That hurts. Villager's gonna have to dig deep. Mm -hmm. Hey, at least Naomi's making this a, a bit of a quicker game than we expected. Yeah, that's true. She's making quick work at Villager right now. Oh my gosh. I think I think Aegis is gonna clean up the stock before even losing hers. And that should be it. Yeah. Damn. That match was right below the hero one with the most dominant one of the tournament and Major Euro stepping out of retirement. Yes, I'm ready. As the seventh seed versus Lucario, you feeling good? I'm feeling uh, fairly confident. I think I've only played one Lucario before, but uh, I think my seed speaks for itself. Ooh, WarioWare, interesting pick, Major. Yeah, I like it. I like being up close and personal with my opponent. I mean, hey, I don't really think you have any other alternatives here. So the tricky thing is here, Lucario is a stupid character, <laughs> and the more you damage him, the more you're gonna get damaged. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a problem. He is stupid, but I am also dumb, so it's gonna be an even matchup, I think. Uh, but here's the beauty of the counterfeit. If you just kill him early, he can't use all that aura. Oh, yep. God. <laughs> you knew yeah. it was going to happen, of yeah. course. You got a sweet spot against me. Yeah, it's just so calculated. That's the major people have missed, given the one tournament you were retired for. <laughs> Ooh, that final smash, that is the great equalizer either one of you need. Mainly Lucario, and just let the tornado speak for themselves. Oh, this is a small stage, which means I think your awful final smash could actually work. You know, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some say my final smash is trash. I think it's just fine the way it is. It was a bait. I'm sorry if I'm distracting you from the match. I know you're still a commentator, but now you got to do both. It's okay. Double duty is uh, no problem here as I take that stock efficiently. See, I respect, I still respect Lucario. I'm yeah. confident, but I respect him, so I give him space. I, I think that's the beauty of this match. Like, it's just like poetry in motion. The gameplay we see from Major Duncan right now. Exactly. It's just a conversation. I'm talking to him right now. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, you can't roll there. Yeah, and but you are controlling the conversation as the gameplay is speaking. That's true. I am a conversational alpha. All right, I'm looking to close it out here. Now? I think I'm, I'm misinputting. I'm doing these. Uh, oh, oh okay, there you go. Perfect. I it out, yeah. Major, you're doing a great job silencing everyone who said you were washed ever since you became a commentator. Wait, what? Okay, anyways, off to Bowser versus PG Incineroar. Were people really saying that about me? Bowser is the third seed of this tournament, but PG Instant was used to be top three. Yeah. They kind of play the same role in the CPU CS, and I feel like Bowser is just the new age version of Incineroar. Yeah, this is definitely, uh, I really like these uh, old blood versus new blood mm -hmm. matchups we're seeing here. Also, I'm always a big fan of just two big boys battling it out. Also, I love that there's no, uh, there's no edge. Mm -hmm. It's all walk-offs. That's really good for Incineroar. That's good for both of them. Yeah. Bowser has like four kill throws for some reason. Okay, well, he answers right back. Yeah, okay. I kind of predicted this was going to be an even game. Despite the difference in seeding, PG and Sin might not have done much lately, but like, I feel like they have the exact same play style, right? They are just going back to back constantly. It's what the Incineroars do best. Remember Blue and Sin versus Ridley last week? Oh, yeah, that was a great match. Oh, oh my god. I like the read he was going for, though. But Did that it? does it. Yep. Okay. 74%. Not the biggest deficit when Sin can just stack it up like it's nobody's business. A scary place to be, though. Oh, my oh, God. Bad. And he just does it. Whoa. Okay. He took the lead. Okay. He's raged. Oh. oh. He knew he was going to jump there. 0% last stock. PG Sin versus Bowser. Oh, oh. he went for it. Is someone going to die? <laughs> but he parries him up to him. Oh, Jab threes, knock. Oh, what? Going off of seeds alone, I think that might be the largest upset we've had thus far. Uh, yeah, that's the third seed getting upset by 14. By the 14th seed. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty huge. And now we're gonna see if Blue Ensign can finally face his cousin again in bracket, or will King Didi take home another tournament? 
It's funny how the seating turned out that the four heavies got tossed into the corner. But Blue and Sin, uh, definitely the higher seed in this match. Uh, in the past season, Blue and Sin's really, he's really stepped out of his cousin's shadow, you know? Yeah, he's still really stepped up, but he's up against one of the more electrifying players here in D2. Yeah, he definitely stepped out of D3 shadow, so this is really a poetic match, and he's already dead. Blue and Sin, it just looks like he's having his way with him, man. Yeah, DD, uh, DD's having a really hard time closing out this gap. But to be fair, we all would. Yeah, it's true. Blue and Cinderor is no slouch. There's a reason why he's out there and I'm over here. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Do you hear that crowd? They're going wild, man. We're oh. looking at 188. He's trying to get in. Oh, suplex, he's gone. <laughs> oh, man. And Cinderor got a very good stage here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, That's where okay. it starts. This is. Uh, he got the first stock, which is going better than the Rosalina hero match, at least. Oh, if he didn't get the air. Oh, that's a gift. Oh, wow, nice. Doesn't really heads up play by Didi. Yeah, he was ready for it. Prepared even. Oh, he's got to let one of these final smashes rip. He's going to yeah, lose it. He might die before he can get it off. If he loses the final smash, that's over. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Well, we have a pretty good match of the Blue Ensign versus PG Ensign, a match we have not seen in a long time. And now we are seeing the first seed Zelda fighting an average hero who's already made a huge upset. This is a stage. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to say the least. Yeah, I definitely think Zelda is the better player here, but on this stage? Oh, it's anyone's game on this stage. Looking like Hero's game. 10 seconds in and he takes a stock off Zelda? I'll be honest. This is the first time I've really seen Zelda play scared. Yeah, absolutely. She looks weak. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. She has dealt 19% this entire game as she's down a complete stock and up 60%. Oh! oh. No, you hate to see it. You hate to see that happen. Oh, oh uh, no. she gave up the smash ball to try and get the gimp, and I, I think this is gonna hurt. Yeah, I think this might be. Uh, we might be looking at another incredible upset for Hero. So here's the thing: very few people beat Zelda. No one beats her like this. Yeah, I don't think Zelda's ever been three stocked. Oh, but that. Oh, she choked. She didn't even back throw. Yeah, I'm not sure the blind coming up there there, and that's gonna oh be it. Oh my god! What happened? Hero has gotten back to back three stocks against higher seeds. Yeah, like two of the best players in the entire league. Hero is on one hell of a killing spree knocking out the eighth and first seed and now Kirby's already out so his only challenge now is either Robin or Audible Link. I am just looking at this match and I'm scared for whoever wins this. Yeah, because uh, you know once you win this you have quite a task ahead of you. You gotta play against Hero and the thing is I've seen Hero before and he's looked okay, you know. He's done well even, but three stocking Rosalina into three stocking Zelda? Yeah, that's a uh, that's pretty crazy. That's a statement. Okay, Link with the final smash. This uh -huh. could be good. Yeah, I mean we did call Link Mr. Consistency, but Robin very well could become the exact same. But ooh, that jump read! Wow, what a snipe! Uh, Robin just wants to get one good hit. Like you see her fishing smash attacks. That's all she needs to take that stock out, or one of her aerial smash attacks. You know. Okay, he got a stock. I killed off the top. I did not think that killed off the top. Yeah, so Link can really clean this match up and make it quick if he gets that final smash. Wow, okay. From downtown, she still makes it happen. But will Prom secure a kill? Huh, okay. okay. Robin, you gotta keep in mind, she did make a great upset over Skillshare Kirby, and now Audible Link is just one of those old boomers in her way, too. The, the new generation's just really taking home the gold nowadays. All right. Robin wow. it took a little bit more percent than I would have liked, so this 170 might not be enough to really hold her off. It's a race to the finish. Whoever can break that final smash ball. Oh, it looks like Link's game. And I, I believe... Oh, he just did it. it! He just let it wow. rip and pulled ahead of Mr. Consistent. So Audible Link is the higher seeded player on that side of the bracket, and now we got the highest seed on this bracket being Naomi versus Major. Yeah, I got a bone to pick. Why? Because she won the she won. Uh, oh yeah, this is the grand rematch. Yeah, I am still feeling pretty bad about Thug Finals, but I think I'm gonna pull it out this time. Ooh, you got any reason for the Carnaria pick? Uh, I just like that it's nice and long. That's what I need. That's what I'm gonna need to beat. Uh, you you need something nice and long. I love it, nice and long. 
Ooh, you went for the dirty gimp right off the bat. Yeah, people don't know I can drag you off stage. People usually don't like to show their hand till later in the game, though. That's fair, but I'm against the second seed. I need to pull out all the stops. I feel like it's a bit too early to be pulling out the gimmicks. So, Agent, definitely a force to be reckoned with lately, and... Oh my god. I was gonna say, you felt so much percent to her, but she's about to cheese this one out on you. <laughs> I refuse to get cheesed. But that's all, you know, that's what I would kind of expect when mm -hmm. someone's going against me. Yeah. You have to resort to such underhanded <laughs> tactics. <laughs> that's it? That's what it is? It's uh, absolutely. Uh-oh. Uh oh, tech it. I always tech it. You already know. Never missed a tech in his life. Never. Ooh! 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 Threw it forward last time, but this time you're going backwards. You, you stole that from her. I, I did. I swooped in like a thief in the night. Oh, all right. And I'm out of here like a thief in the night. <laughs> and that is? Uh, well, it didn't work. What's your next step in the plan? Well, we got to resort to our comeback stance. I like how she's using the bombs to, like, defend herself in the pit. Yeah, I, I cannot. I would really prefer to get out of this pit. She's oh, not letting you. You're in her domain. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to dig deep here. I'm going to have to take the stock, like, right now. Well, that right. still counts. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, Major. All you gotta do is take one stock and then time her out. That's <laughs> I, also a that's game plan. Actually, that is true. Ooh, that was sick, not gonna lie. Well, the better player moves on in bracket. What do you think, Major? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, and yeah, now we it's have... Whatever. Uh, okay, so anyway. It's cool. All the top seeds lose on the other side. I gotta play the second seed on my side. Okay, so... It's super we, great. PG Incineroar versus Blue Incineroar. What a fitting stage right here. So, to give a bit of a narrative, PG Incineroar was the one who blazed the first trail, and now Blue Incineroar stepped out of his shadow and became the number one fighter briefly of the CPUCS. Blue Incineroar definitely the dominant force here, but PG Incineroar has kind of taken it running. But if you've seen these two fighters before, the first stock is not indicative of what they can cheese out. Oh, man. Blue Incin knocks him off, and that means he's gonna get the final smash, and this could be scary. Oh, oh, that could be it, though, and it is. That was necessary. He was definitely gonna lose that stock to the final smash, or lose a second stock. Like a PG Incineroar, yeah, I was just gonna say, is at high percent, so only a few more hits mm -hmm. would have uh, taken his stock. So even though these are pretty far in terms of the actual seating, you have to realize there is nobody in this bracket who knows the other fighter better than the other fighter here. Oh my gosh, what a collision. <gasps> Gross, he died at 65 after the hit. Huh. Interesting, that's I mean, a, that's an option, I suppose. It's a call out, one could say. Well, we are at even stock, and I just gotta say, there is no way in hell we're going to time this game. Yeah, definitely not. They are holding forward, oh my, oh, wait, no. what? That was a, a big boo-boo for Blue Incineroar. The Blue Incin grabs a final smash and just lets it rip. <laughs> yeah, he reacted to the side B and just decided to go for the confirm. Okay, so we are 0%, 0% last stock. Blue Incineroar versus his cousin, PG Incineroar. Ooh, he is trying to cheese out a big win. Oh, not enough. That revenge could be all Blue Incin needed. He, oh no. I, I saw the timeline where it all went wrong. Oh, oh, okay. He baited that shield out. And that's gonna be it. Well, that went about as you expected. We saw the homie stock SD, as we like to call it. And now we're moving on to Audible Link versus the God Slayer Hero. I'm scared because I feel like he is just capable enough to do it. I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if you three stock Zelda, I think you can do anything. <laughs> Dude, he three stock Zelda with final smashes on. Oh. First stock gone. 26%. Yeah. Something has happened to Hero between the last... What? 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 He's not gonna... So he has no mana. Oh, okay. He has double chunk. Was that just a flex? You three stock Rosalina. You act a little cocky. And you use that air against a three stock Zelda? Ooh, okay. Link, definitely giving Hero some of his comeuppance. Mm -hmm. It's just without that final smash, Hero was just out playing him time and time again. Oh, and now Link kind of stacking it up. Uh-huh. He's getting there. Oh, I think he got a little too greedy. Mm -hmm. Playing with his heart instead of his mind. Ooh, but kaboom, that definitely is 40 very well-deserved percent. Okay, he made it back, and Hero didn't. Wait, what? I think he got clipped by a Link? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm saying, Link might be the one we need to defend us. If he is Mr. Consistency, he can find a way around this. You can definitely see Hero struggling a bit more now, but once he starts going to the store, man, that's all he needs. Oh, oh what a, he's just charging out there. He doesn't even care about the final smash. The same final smash that killed him earlier. 
Oh, it might kill him right now, too, and it does. Oh, okay. What was once looking like a hero game is now looking Link favored, but if we assume Final Smash is off the table, if Hero 3 stalks Zelda, there's no reason why he couldn't run this back. Oh, absolutely. Crackle Slash, he is frozen. Uh, got a little back here. A little bit percent, and... This is what That's I was saying. It's a little saying. too close for me. Mm -hmm. it's, it does not feel like Link has a lead right now. And Link okay, decides to break it again. again. This will absolutely kill. And Link he does hits it. it and defeats Hero and moves on to finals. As confident as Link looked there, I did not believe. I didn't either. Hero I just really, looked yeah. like he had it all under lock and key. I also thought that uh, Hero was just going to pull out, uh, just a, he was going to read something and he was going to hmm. use it to bring Link down. So now we got the Agent versus Blue Incineroar. This should be a damn good match. So if I had to guess, this is probably a pretty good stage for both of them. But I feel like if Naomi gets in the right place, she can really just have her way with Incineroar. Yeah, I agree. I think I think Blue Incineroar, as great of a run as he's had, I don't think this is a great stage or a great matchup for him. And they, they just refuse to play on anywhere else but the smallest area you can uh, play on. Yeah, man, this is the fight club. You got to hold forward here. That's the only rule. I like what she's going for, though. But this is scary. Incin is sauced up, but... The final smash, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Oh, the pizza. He served the pizza right into a rib cage, and that's a strong opening right there. Oh, wow, wow she, she got it. absolutely stole that from him. And he's gonna lose the stock because of this. Ooh, and this is all but wrapped up here, I think. Yeah, something crazy could happen, but I just don't know if Blue Incent has that comeback factor in him, you know? Well, she really wanted something. Oh, off the top, okay. It's maybe a little something that he needs. Yeah, it's. I think that stock is definitely enough to give him hope. Watch out for the bomb. Yeah. Oh, that'll do it. And then she finds herself a spot in yet another finals. This season, she just has had the Shonen training arc. She wanted to be the best, and I think she is one match away from truly becoming the best. Here we are in Grands in the season four finale of the Tostinos Invitational, and we have Audible Link versus Agent coming from opposite sides of the bracket. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Visit r slash CPUCS, and let's just jump right into it. This is a stage. <laughs> this is where I expected we would have finals. This specific layout of Mario Maker. And I don't know why, but I've always seen Link struggle on Mario Maker. Really? All the Mario Makers. Interesting. That's a, That might be why uh, Agent picked here. She I mean, it's kind of a roulette because you never know what you're going to get. Oh, well, Link going coming out strong. Mm -hmm. If she gets second to Link, that's still a great feat. Hey, it took Ash 20 years to win a tournament at his age of 10. But win or lose, this is still a feat. And it's inspiring for anyone else who wants to go out and win a tournament. If she can do it, anyone can. Yeah, even if you start from the bottom, you can just grind your way up. And look, she's grinding her way out of this deficit. <laughs> she might be able to bring this back. She's got to find that last good hit, though. Does she got it. the there plot armor? Okay, they are nearly even percent. This was the comeback she was looking for. Oh, she went for it. She wants to spike. Oh, but that's a bad move on Link. Oh, oh, oh she got the shield up. Yeah, oh, she's got to use... Okay, that was not a good place to use it, but she won it out of the corner. Yeah, now she's going to be able to get out, out of there, and she still has the percent lead. Yeah, this is scary. Link has had so many stocks in that little splash zone right there. Right playing the edge. Oh, and she's taking the lead back. <sighs> I don't know what it is about her, man. She has the wildest plot armor of any character we have ever seen. Uh, he's at 45, and she did not want to capitalize off it. Just give him some space, and now... A whole season later, we are on the last stop of finals of Audible Link versus the newcomer, Agent Naomi Winters. And she is close. Link explodes it and kills himself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do not believe what I just saw. I think he tried to get the read that she was going to throw it, kill her with it, but something went wrong in the calculation. And the agent pulls ahead and wins her very first major. Wow, just wow. Been a wild ride. Wow. Tons of upset, tons of Major doing phenomenal plays. Yeah. And we even had the hero make a huge run, upsetting so many people yet falling to Link who fell to Naomi. And with all that being said, I don't think we have any crazy gimmicks for Thug Finals because Blood Falcon definitely went home. Oh my God.
it had to happen again. He may have not made it to the tournament, but why would he not appear in Thug Finals? This is uh, this is just a travesty, I, believe, I think. Man, he took Joe, and now he's trying to take everyone else from us. No, he's already taken so much, he can't take any more. But there has to be a reason how he got here, who sent him. But, wait, what? Someone coming to Naomi's aid? Tony coming out of his shackles, does not want to see Blood Falcon take another friend of his. He lost Vincent once before, he's not losing Naomi. I understand, but is Tony strong enough to handle someone like Blood Falcon? Look, Tony has been dormant for the entirety of the season, but I think the fire under him right now can be exactly what he needs to find out what it takes to find the power to overcome a foe like Blood Falcon. Look at that! Wow! The excellence! Exactly what we need from Tony! I was speechless for that whole combo. I did not expect that. But we just built the Tostino Stadium. How did he know exactly where to go to find us? Yeah, this was a very exclusive tournament. Mm -hmm. Like, we did not let the location out to anyone. No, it was me, Major, and the other 15 invitees. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's a commanding lead. Oh, Tony's got oh those God. major techs. That's what we like to call them. I think he's been watching me, mm -hmm. so he won't admit it. Tony took a very early lead, but all of it's kind of falling to shambles. We've seen what happens. So in the light realm, you can't die. You can't die here. But what Blood Falcon can do can transport you to the dark realm as you lay unconscious before him. But the thing is, if you make it out of the dark realm, it's up to you. They currently have our friend Joe, who we may never see again. I don't think he's very strong, honestly. I know he's not very strong. Yeah, we might have to search. We Next season, we got to go to the Dark Realm. We got to save Joe and hopefully not Tony. This should be it, right? Yeah, he's at 200. Come on, Tony. You, you're, at, you're at nice percent. Okay, no, he's still holding on. Not like this, Tony. He has the power of friendship. Tony has finally understood FDI. He has to know what it's all about. And that's how Tony got sent to the Dark Realm. We needed the light that could conquer the darkness in Blood Falcon. We needed the antithesis. We needed our fallen Captain Falcon. We didn't need that specific Falcon. Captain Falcon is not a title you're born with. It's something you earn. And when you fight for your friends in the most dire of circumstances, that's when you truly understand it. Tony has finally found a heart strong enough to refuse the black magic of Blood Falcon that would transport him to the Dark Realm. And he comes, and he does not come alone, no. He comes with Dark Vince as he awakens on the battlefield. And Naomi rises up to fight with Tony to protect our realm one last time. But it begs the question, how did they find us? The Tostino Stadium yeah. was only built like for new. this. Yeah, yeah, it's built for this. We only Tony was only here because we, uh, he was on staff as a backup commentator. Yeah, and little did he know he's going to be defending our realm. But it was just in case you made it too far in brackets, Tony would step up. There are so many timelines where everything goes wrong and we lose our heroes yet again. But I think this could be the one timeline where they pull out ahead and defend a realm once again. I think there's probably like 11 timelines where our heroes uh -huh. Oh! Tony kicking out. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, that was worth it. We'll yeah. take that. We'll take that. Blood Falcon is yeah. Oh, we take that. Oh my god. Dark Fitz is out of there. We are up four stocks of Blood Falcon's one. Yes. The, I've wanted to see Blood Falcon get his comeuppance for so long now. Mm -hmm. They, yes. This is exactly what we need. The heroes to do it. Tony and Naomi. Tony's tossing her up there. Get Blood Falcon. Oh! No! Did that they really make finished. the projectile expire? <laughs> that was about to be the hypest thing ever, but then they still defend it. But if you have been following the CPUCS, you know you cannot die in the light room. So let's start our second trek, the first one in years, back to the Dark Realm. <laughs> 